how you can measure yeast without having a precision balance because sometimes you want to use smaller amounts of yeast uh, especially if you are using a, a pre-ferment, a poolish, this will really reduce a lot the amount of, of yeast you need and then, then you will have to measure very small quantities. So here I have um, my normal scale and this is a precision scale. I have the fresh yeast and then I have the, the, uh, the dry yeast. The difference is that in any recipe you can transform fresh yeast into dry yeast by dividing by three and vice versa. Dry yeast into, into fresh yeast multiplying by three. So two squares like this are five grams. So I just put it here just to make the comparison with a coin of one euro that I've cleaned very thoroughly. So now the one third of five is 1.66, right? Because my, the idea, so you see here you have the size of a coin here on the side. So just to give you the idea on volumes. So you can work with volumes instead of working with uh, instead of working with weights. So this is the main purpose of this exercise. One point sixty six is almost one teaspoon. You can use one teaspoon. I think that will do. Two grams. So this would be two grams. So like this, you can see. How much is 0 0.66 grams? So like three to coins more or less, one year. A cube like this is like one gram. Put here a dry pea and a small lentil. This is 0 0.33, the equivalent to one gram of fresh yeast, and you can see that can be more or less like a coin of two euro. And teaspoons. So 0 0.33 is one, one eighth of a teaspoon. This is approximately, this is half gram, so it's half of what we had before. So now the size of the half gram fresh yeast corresponds to to this amount of dry yeast that can be we have a bit of an imagination a bit of a of imagination could we in surface more or less like one euro coin. Okay, so this is a bit more than 0 0.2, will be good for the example. Starting to reach the shape of the dried pea, which I would say is like a good pinch of dried yeast. Okay, so there you are. I hope this was helpful.